Greetings YouTube. My Kaylee 7 here. Today I'm riding on my 2021 Kawasaki ZH2 SE. And as you can see, it's a cloudy crap day. But I'm out here anyway. I avoided a rainstorm, or actually a few earlier. And now I'm trying to get home before the next batch hits. As you know, motor vloggers and motorcycle riders, when you are a motorcycle rider, you become a meteorologist. If you ever want to know what the weather is, ask a motorcycle rider. They know what it is. I got 542 miles on the clock since I bought this bike at two miles. So basically I've put on 540 of my own authentic miles. Soon I'll do my 600 mile service and then uh, I can kind of, you know, have some more fun, I guess. Just have to find safe places to do it, safe times. Police are out today. So where am I? You're asking, right? Where, where the heck are you, Mike? I am in Cary over by the uh, Shear and Harris nuclear power plant. It's the part of Cary that is right on the border of it. Crosses over 64. 64 is an east-west road. If you watch NC Stoney, he lives out that on the west part of that road. He's up by uh, Ashboro. And I'm on the, you know, eastern half of it, I guess you could say. Not really eastern, middle. Had a nice little scoot today. Learning the bike, you know, a little bit more. Each ride is a, a lesson. I think this is uh, 64 coming up. So today's topic is about second bikes. It's probably because I'm currently in the market yeah, that was 64. I just crossed over. Good job, Mikey. It's hard to moto vlog and, and think about this and be safe. You know, this, the bike is too new and more complicated than a Goldwing. Gold wing, you just twist and go. What road is this? This is Kelly Road. Kelly, 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 Kelly. Remember that song? Anyway, I just dated myself.
I keep looking down at my turn signals to make sure they're not blinking. You ever notice that if you're interested in a thing, you start to see that thing everywhere? Like if you're thinking about buying a, a Monte Carlo. I don't even think they make them anymore, but if you were gonna buy a Chevy Monte Carlo, you start seeing Monte Carlos everywhere. Well, you know, here I am with the second bike. First time in my life that I've had two motorcycles at the same time. And now I'm noticing a lot of other people, they're doing the second bike thing too. Bronco Ride just announced he's going to be getting that uh, Harley-Davidson Pan America. I think that's a beautiful bike. And if I lived in a place where I had adventure riding opportunities to make good use of it, I would definitely be uh, a fan of that and possibly wanting to get one. But since I live in a place where you can't really go off-roading anywhere near me, it's all tobacco farms, and I don't want to have anybody point a shotgun at me. And I know you can ride it on the street, but it's kind of like buying a Jeep Wrangler and then never taking it off-road. You're going to school to pick up the kids, you're going to the mall, you're going to your job. The most dirt that thing's ever seen is if there's sand in the road. I don't want to do that. I have no idea where I'm going. I just know that it's kind of east and I want to go east. Yeah. And I know I just want to cut over an east-west road. You might be thinking, Mike, what are you doing? Well, yeah, it is an east-west road, but it's a, it runs north-south in this section of it, and I want to go directly east. I don't want to go north and then east. So, here I am. Hopefully this road doesn't just end somewhere. Like, oh. Now, see, an adventure bike would be great for that kind of situation, where it's, suddenly the sign says pavement ends. You're like, ah, no problem, carry on. And on the Goldwing, I've done that. If you watch Moose 3971, you'll see he's done that many times. No idea where I am. So, um, my question for you is, do you notice that more people this year seem to be interested in getting a second bike, or is it just me? I'm just noticing it because I did it. Where the hell am I? Old US-1. I know where I am now. Everything's good. Well, that's where this goes. Okay. How many years did I go without a second bike? It's, it, that's the, the really interesting part is I never had 
I don't really wanted a second bike. I don't know why all of a sudden now I do. It's an evolution thing. Over time you change. In the beginning I was a cruiser guy. I was I wanted to, you know, look cool and cruise around and have that nice Harley sound with the Reinhardt pipes. I had uh, Reinhardt pipes on my Road King Classic and, and also on my 14 Ultra. Loved those pipes. Had a great time with those bikes. The cruising thing was, was where it was at, you know. I wasn't into the speed. And I wasn't looking to do twisties. And then uh, I got I got that 14. No, no. You know what it was? That first Hoot Nanny in 2016. That's when it started. We were going pretty fast, and uh, Moose was on his Triumph. Uh, we, what are they? I call that the Trophy Wife because it was Triumph Trophy, and that bike was fast. And so I had the Stage Two, I believe, at that point on my 14 Ultra and we were going down Highway 42 at some points over 100 miles an hour having a great old time I was sticking right with them too and I think that's what planted the seed the seed of speed oh I like that, I should trademark that then I uh, ended up getting that 17 Ultra Limited with the Milwaukee 8 engine and I put a stage 4 in it. I thought, you know what? Screw this piecemeal stage 1, stage 2 crap. I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to get a stage 4. And that's exactly what I did. Welcome to Apex. So I had that stage 4 2017 Ultra Limited, and that thing would go, man. That thing is pretty darn fast. And then I went to the second Hoot Nanny that was all out in the mountains out there, out in Blue Ridge, and was burning down the twisties on that bike. We went down Cherahala Skyway pretty darn quick. And uh, Blue Ridge Parkway, not so much, because, you know, you don't really go too fast on that thing. That's not what it's for. Oops. 35. What an insult. I definitely developed the need for speed when I was out at that second hoot nanny. Went up to Boston. I mean, me and Moose had a great time. Again, he was on his Triumph, and uh, he really liked my Harley. So then he went, got himself a Harley in the winter after that second hoot. I got that gold wing and then that really sealed the deal for me because now all of a sudden I was a speed demon a twisty demon I loved the speed and the twisties man oh they were great that road to Hawksnest video shows right there what that bike can do and that's pretty darn impressive for a touring bike
And I guess that's when I started to realize that I was kind of beating on that bike. I was beating on the Goldwing. And I know it's hard to beat on a Goldwing because they really are fast and, and lithe. Flickable. And I thought, you know what? I have kind of maxim, uh, maxim, I've maxed out my performance on that bike. As awesome as that bike is, I've leaned it over as far as it'll go many times, and the weight of it just isn't capable of doing the things that I want to do. So A, I don't want to beat on it, and B, I, I, I just want to do more. But I didn't want a sport bike. Because a sport bike, you're all in that tucked position, and I don't want to do that. That's not my, my uh, goal. So I just happened to be watching a video by Yami Noob, where he said something about this being uh, his, his favorite. Out of the... Uh, the naked bikes and I started doing some research and more research and next thing you know I'm like oh I have to have this test rode it that sealed the deal you can see the video yourself and it's been hallelujah ever since I think I'm gonna go this way This is how you have to go across this highway. You have to make a right, and then make a U-turn, and then make another right, just to go straight across the highway. I don't know if it's safer, but it is what it is. The, the derogatory term, in my opinion, it's derogatory, is uh, calling this a crotch rocket. And I understand because it is, you know, super fast. It's like a rocket and, you know, kind of crotchy. But that seems to have a connotation of I don't know, hooliganism or it just, it's not it's not well regarded, let's just put it that way. And I don't, I don't know if uh, other people think that this is, uh, if other people think the word crotch rocket is a derogatory term or not. I don't know. It seems that way to me. But I don't take offense because I don't think people mean it that way. Although I think that they derisively refer to it when they see it on the highway or whatever. Oh, look at that crotch rocket. And then there's the racist one, you know, a rice burner. It's a rice rocket. Contrary to what you might think, this bike does not burn rice. However, it does burn a shit ton of gas. I'm not sure what my MPG is right now, but I'm sure it's not great because I do tend to get on it. This bike handles like nothing else I have ever ridden. I upped my game from my Ultra to my Goldwing. And then I upped my game again, kind of 
a lot <laughs> with this bike. And this bike is far, far beyond my capabilities. But that's the fun of it. I want to learn. At some point, if I ever find a way to ride off-road, adventure style, regularly enough so that I could actually justify spending the moolah on a bike like that, then, you know, maybe that'll be my next thing. Or maybe I'll circle back to the cruisers. This morning on Harley Day Riders, coffee with Harley Day Rider, He took a special initiative to say, people think that Mike hates on Harleys, and Mike hates Harleys. I don't. He reminded people that I was a Harley rider for 14 years. Happy one. Except for the last year, maybe year and a half. I owned uh, four Harleys. Loved riding them. Had a great time, but I evolved to a different style of bike for different uh, needs or wants. Now that I have the Goldwing, and I still love the Goldwing and all the creature comforts and the fact that I can carry stuff and to go on long tours with it, which is awesome. Uh, I think this bike here is, is just to explore that other side of things that I enjoy which is the speed and the twisties, in a safer, I, I, I think it's ironic that I'm saying that safer way, but it, in a way it kind of is, because I'm not pushing the bike to, uh, I'm not pushing the gold wing to do something it's not designed to do. And I know everybody's going to be saying, well, the street's no place to be riding that kind of crazy, that's the track. No, no, I don't want to ride that kind of crazy that much. The level of crazy I'm talking about is... An isolated twisty, or even a twisty that's relatively populated, but you're not going too fast. But this bike just corners on a rail. It's just amazing. Because it's got all the tech in it. It's kind of like having training wheels in a way, but you know what? I'll take it. I will take it. And I don't know if you're noticing, but I'm not squidding and, and you know, moving between cars and all that. Especially not in this break-in learning phase. No way. I hope never. Like I said in a previous video that I may or may not have released by the time you see this, the windiness that I experience on this bike makes me feel like I'm going faster than I am. Fiero! So hopefully that'll keep me from being stupid. Like right here, right? See how the, up there you can't really see those cars because they're too small for this camera, but you, know, you see a long stretch like this and you think, oh, you can gun it. No, no, no. You see these cars coming? I don't know who's a cop. It's a populated area. There's no driveways, of course, but I'm not risking it. I know my, I know my opportunities when I see them. And occasionally I take them. Now, I might get another second bike at some point. If I get tired of this, I might trade this in on something else. Who knows? Or add a third bike. Wouldn't that be nice? Add a third bike. Can you believe that? Ha ha! I hit gravel. That scares you. Doesn't it? So if I get a third bike, or if I trade this in on a second bike, it might be an ADV, or it could be uh, the Harley Fat Bob. I really do like that bike. That's a cool looking bike. I wish that Harley would come out with that damn Street Fighter. I'd love to try that thing out. That might have been the way I went. If, if they had come out with that, I might have gone that way. But. Instead, I find myself on a Kawasaki. I'm having a good old time, too. I think I'm going to shut up now and just ride. So, uh, thank you for watching. 
and uh, you guys stay safe out there. A shout out to Smyrna Cowboy. Still thinking of you, buddy. Praying for you. I know you're in the hospital still, but you're fighting a good fight, and I know you're determined. And I cannot wait for you to get out of there and start getting on the road toward getting that Can-Am. And I hope that you're able to sue the pants off of them for negligence and retire with even more money. And I hope you never go back to that dangerous place ever again. All right. It's Mike. I'm out. Talk to you later.